Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use one of the most essential and powerful features in Excel, relative cell references. Whether you're new to Excel or just brushing up on your skills, this guide will help you save time and improve your workflow. Let's dive right in. Before we begin, let's quickly understand what cell references are. In Excel, a cell reference tells the program which cell to refer to when performing calculations. There are two main types, relative and absolute. Today, we'll focus on relative cell references, which change automatically when you copy or move formulas to another location. Let's start by opening Excel and creating a basic formula to demonstrate relative references. First, select a blank worksheet and enter some data. For example, let's say you have numbers in cells B2 and C2. We want to add these two cells together. Click on cell D2, where we want to place our formula. Now, type the equal sign equals to start the formula, followed by clicking on cell B2. Type A plus sign plus, and then click on cell C2. Press enter to complete the formula. Now that we've created our formula, let's talk about how relative references work. Notice the formula we just created refers to A1 and B1. When you copy this formula to another cell, Excel doesn't keep these references fixed. Instead, it adjusts them relative to where the formula is copied. Let's see this in action. Select cell D2 where we created the formula and copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C or Command plus C on a Mac. Now paste this formula into cell E2 by pressing Ctrl plus V or Command plus V. When you paste the formula into cell C2, notice that Excel automatically updates the rep C3 and B3. This is what we call a relative reference. The formula is relative to its position. So as you copy it down or across the worksheet, Excel adjusts the cell references accordingly. Now, instead of copying the formula cell by cell, let's copy it to an entire range. Select the fill handle at the bottom right corner of cell D2 and drag it down to copy the formula to multiple cells below it. Excel automatically changes the cell references for each row. This makes it super easy to apply the same formula across large data sets without having to adjust it manually. So, to recap, a relative cell. Reference in Excel changes automatically when you copy or move a formula to a different location. This feature helps you save time and avoid repetitive tasks, especially when working with large sets of data. It's a great way to make your Excel formulas more efficient. And that's it. You've now learned how to use relative cell references in Excel. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos and tutorials. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.